Hey guys, what's up? So today we'll be comparing the new Grace UI uh, that we'll be seeing inside of the Galaxy Note 7 right out of the box. It's a change, TouchFace UI. I have it as a beta uh, on my Galaxy Note 5, so it was a tricky process. Of course, you have to uh, root your phone, have custom recovery. Uh, I, made a, I made a separate video on how to flash it, okay? So uh, it is up and running on my Note 5. This is of course something that it will come to the Galaxy S7. I don't know when, but it will uh, probably after the release of the Galaxy Note 7. So uh, I just want to compare it to the UI of the of the, of the the S7. Of course, has the old TouchWiz UI. So let's start off uh, with the locks, you know, okay? We're gonna be taking a look at what major changes we have uh, as of as of now of course so maybe the final version might include some changes uh, so I might make a another video but you can see the uh, the the lock screen looks a lot similar so you got two shortcuts of course the uh, the phone and the camera and then you can swipe and, and as well as you can use the fingerprint sensor if you want to so I'm just gonna unlock and this is how the how the, um, the the home screen looks like. So basic natural look of the TouchWiz UI, it's the same, okay? But it is less cartoonish. I'm gonna show you, starting with the icons, you can notice that uh, they are more, more like standing out, okay? They have this uh, shade in the background, which makes them really nice. Um, you can easily distinguish them. While here, it's like more cartoonish, the phone app, and the messaging app, so yeah, we have changed icons. That is the the, 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 the number one thing we have changed. So um, taking a look at the uh, quick setting area, now this is also where you're gonna see a big, big, big improvement. First of all, uh, it's, it, it's looking a lot more mature. Uh, this again, looks a lot more cartoonish. So uh, you have to swipe all the way uh, at the end to access all the other settings, but now you can swipe like uh, if you swipe just like this, it's gonna give you the top settings. If you swipe all the way down like this, it's gonna give you the whole setting look here. So you got power saving, all that settings, all those old settings that we have on the S7, but there's a new setting here. It's called as blue light filter. This is kind of a night mode uh, feature that we also have on iOS uh, 10, of course, with the iPhone 6S and other uh, sported uh, iPhones. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is, like I said, this is a night mode type of feature, blue light filter, so you can edit it and all that, uh, you know, the intensity. So it's pretty nice. You can also schedule it, uh, uh, you know, when it automatically turns on. So it's a new addition, uh, which will make its way on the S7 with the future update. Uh, you can also notice that uh, on the older S7, you have the, the brightness and the quick connect, which is uh, now not here. The quick connect is gone. Instead of that, we have a much more useful option, which is a search bar, and as well as the uh, the voice search is there. So you can search any application on your phone, like gallery, you can type in, and it's gonna show you the gallery application. Uh, you can also voice search uh, quickly, which is pretty nice. Uh, taking a look at the app drawer, if I go here, again, less cartoonish. Uh, you know, it, it, they look similar, but like I said, they have changes, uh, they have made some changes to the icons, okay? Especially if you take a look at the gallery icon, it's, it's, it's different, okay? So, um, we got, again, we got the search bar. Instead of pressing the search button and searching, we have search bar there and a, and, a, and a blur effect. You can see the wallpaper on the S7, it's like clear. It's clear, but on the Note 5, you can see the icons are more standing out just because of a blur effect in the background. So my wallpaper is blurred out, which is great. Uh, and uh, again, you got the, uh, the voice search also there. And then you get these uh, three dots instead of the edit button. So in these three dots, you got both of these two options that were previously outside, now they're inside, they are, this is the edit button, this is the alphabetical um, order button there, and of course you can drag uh, and uh, drop any application to the home screen, uh, which is of course pretty much the same. Uh, you can also take a look at the, at, the, um, at the folder, you can change the colors, which is the same thing you can do here, uh, nothing changed with that. Uh, if I go back and show you guys the multitasking area, which is also the same, you can your close all button uh, we can also take a quick look at the settings now this is where a huge change comes this is where you're gonna see the touches UI getting more mature so it's kind of like an Android N um, type of uh, change we have 
So with each setting, you can see it's a specific icon. So sound has its own uh, speaker button there. You know, again, it's hel it helps to operate the UI uh, with more ease compared to this. I mean, this is like, this is, this is a child play. I mean, this is so childish, cartoonish. Uh, I'm really glad that they have made a huge update to the uh, to the settings UI, you also have the uh, the general management tab here instead of the about device, which is uh, something really great, you know, uh, because inside you get all the uh, options like the update settings. You get also options for the for the keyboard and the date and the time, and of course battery and for software info and the model number is there. Uh, also, the big change we can see here is that there is a device maintenance option uh, and device maintenance option includes the RAM, battery, storage, and device security. It scans your phone and basically shows you uh, uh, what settings you have to optimize in order to make your phone more faster, like uh, I have optimized it already. Now, instead of a separate application, we have a proper setting in the setting area, which gives us all the things we need, okay? So RAM, you can go in and clean the RAM. It shows you how much RAM it will give you, like 482 MB if I clean up now. It also shows you the current RAM status, which is great. Uh, device security is there, uh, which is, of course, to scan any potential viruses on your phone. Storage is there. You can check your uh, storage, like how much images are there, videos, audio. You can also clean up the storage. It, it's, it, it, you know, it's, it gives you the unnecessary data, so you can clean it and it's gonna give you more internal memory. And it, sh it shows you what it's actually cleaning, like the search uh, search thing from YouTube application. All the unnecessary stuff will, will come up in the storage tab, so it's great. I mean, finally your Samsung phone will be faster than ever thanks to the new device management option, uh, which is a great thing here. And uh, again, uh, the camera UI is pretty much the same, sadly, uh, but we might see an update, who knows. And there are some changes here and there. If we take a look at the phone dialer, you can see just two tabs, log and contacts. They try to skim down the original touch with UI as much as they can. Same thing with the messaging application. You can see uh, two tabs. Instead, there is no tab system. And uh, also, if I go into the gallery, now we get three tabs, stories, album, and pictures. Instead of that, uh, it's just the old... Uh, um, you know, difficult to use gallery application here with the, with the older UI. So now it's much more cleaner. Album tab, you can see all your pictures. You can also make stories of a certain road trip. So all in all, it's a great update. We have some new changes to like clock application, but I'm showing you guys the main changes, okay? Uh, visually, they look the same, but they have huge changes uh, and much needed changes to the um, required department, like the quick settings and other stuff. So uh, hopefully, uh, this uh, will bring some changes. Of course, this will come to the Galaxy S7 in the future. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.